Welcome to Sip the Survivor, an extraordinary expedition featuring 10 intrepid contestants thrust into the unforgiving terrain of Sip the Island, where cooperation, resilience and survival prowess are paramount. Separated from their mundane routines, these men and women must demonstrate their mettle, far removed from the comforts of civilization. I am Uzgul, the pure, priest of Yog, for tribe in Darfar. The Darfari are hard people. We live as nomads and move a lot. We are okay with sleeping under the stars and fighting enemies. Many think Darfari are evil, but ritual of eating our enemies is a strength that many city dwellers have lost. I am here to show everyone what the blessing of Yog can bring to you. As a performer here in Stygia, I have gathered many fans by nourishing their minds with my enthralling dances. A great deal of effort goes into our shows, but most disregard this and see us as mere ladies of the night. While the title doesn't bother me, I'm ready to show the world what a trained performer is really capable of. Life on the island will be difficult, but mine has been that way since I was a child, and with my unmatched agility and cunning, I will prevail. Cooking and eating, ha! Huh? Those are the best pleasures in life. In this world where hunger lurks at every corner, it is my job to stave it. Our tavern serves all kind of people, from the wealthy that heard of our reputation to the lowly that await in the alley for scraps. Nothing goes to waste, and from Shem to Sipta, I don't see a need to change my ways. Get food, cook it, and win. I also invite all to the sizzling boar, just down the road of the Ishtar Temple in the mercantile quarter of Akbitana. You can't miss it. Utilizing cutting-edge sorcery, our esteemed Stygian sorcerers have cast a scrying spell upon each participant, ensuring their continuous observation and enabling us to curate the most gripping moments for your viewing pleasure. As they brave the myriad perils of the island, from ferocious wildlife to indigenous tribes, Maroon soldiers and even for sinister entities. The competitors must navigate treacherous waters with unwavering determination. And every fortnight, you, the audience, hold the power to determine who remains and who departs, culminating in a thrilling finale where the last individual standing shall claim the coveted prize of 100,000 gold coins. Fellow tribe members, we have secured a base of operations and a source of nourishment. What are the next steps? Better tools and armors, we need to be able to defend ourselves. I have enough ingots to make an iron pickaxe. We should use that to mine the large amount of iron that will be required. For the armors, we'll need a good amount of hides, cured leathers, and for heavier armors, thick leather. Me and Ramiel can hunt for hides and tasty meat. Not sure where to get thick leather, though. I can go inland to search for larger animals. Maybe I can find some with thick hides. I'll make us some armor and join you in that search. There's plenty of herbs around. I can start a supply of healing items. And if we get enough iron to craft a cauldron, I'll be able to mix more potent elixirs. I have Rurik with the mining. After we gather and craft these items, I'd like to explore our surroundings a bit better. Who will join me? I am curious of our surroundings as well. I'm sure this island hides many secrets. Then it is settled. Gather resources, craft items and exploration. Let's make these days count. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Belelish and we are here with Rurik, our resident blacksmith. And he's tasked with gathering some iron ore to make better weapons. Uzgul the Pure has agreed to help us on this quest. We should head up to our crafting area to get our pickaxe. This box here will be to store all our best tools, things that we can share from one character to another. We should also gather a good amount of food to take with us. Ramiel here is in a campfire cooking and he should have a decent amount of food. He sure does. Let's take the shredded and give the grilled steak to Uzgul here. So you can level up nicely as a thrall. All right, we do have some iron nodes over on this side. So we're going to head out into that direction. 
And this is going to be basically a farming montage because I don't want you guys to be sitting there looking at me breaking stone all the way through. Uzgul is here to help us carry all the stuff as well. So I know this isn't iron, but we are also going to mine all types of resources that might be useful for us in the future. For now, Hurikir is going to be leveling up expertise because he is a bearer after all, and we need someone to carry all the stuff. For now, at these lower levels, Uzgul is going to help us out. Uh oh, we are being attacked by undead. Let's see how tough these guys are. Uh, giving Uzgul a torch was a mistake. Alright, now he's thinking with his head. I think we can handle these skeletons, but it's freaking out Hurik quite a bit. I have to learn how to work with my fall with this friendly fire thing active. Let's see if he starts. Alright, sorry Uzgul, you got a bit of a beating there. Ooh, this is steel and volatile glands. We are going to take both. Raw ash, purple lotus powder, grey lotus powder, and bear pelts. That's amazing. We'll take all the fur as well. Alright, this indicates to me that inside this huge complex might be more undead. And we are going to keep our distance from that right now. Let's eat something to get a little bit of regen going and keep mining. Oh, this is also a big find right here. Some brimstone. We are going to need that to craft steel. It's not for this episode, but in the near future we will want to upgrade our weaponry for sure. I also didn't bring in dots to repair our pickaxe, so we will have to make a trip back home. Okay, uh, let's put the iron smelting. This as well, some fuel. The brimstone, we can store it there for now. And then we put the rest in here. Hopefully it will be enough space. Not really, but there's another box just over here. To repair our pickaxe, we will need some iron and some branches. Let's take 20 of those. And we are ready to keep going. This time we're going to go through this way. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello guys, mining is going okay. Everyone working hard. Here as well, good luck. Let's get the coal. We are in the tech. Let's... Well, that was good teamwork from our part. We also do get quite a good amount of XP by killing these guys, which is good news for us because we do need to level up a lot of characters. That's one of the things I'm struggling with right here at the start. That scared the shit out of me. With the lighting or the lack of lighting, I <laughs> I was kind of surprised. Ooh, we have oh we are almost dead. We have to run away here. Uzgul, please do not die. It's not worth it. We need the iron, but it's not worth it. Uzgul, come back! Don't be a hero! Alright, Uzgul, how are you doing? Let's just wait here for daylight. Look at the moon, enjoy the fresh air, 
but it's dangerous for us to proceed during the night time. We're going to get ambushed and killed. Okay, I think there's enough light out for us to proceed carefully. Let's see, looking for iron. This guy is mad at us. I will drench your blood. Your heart will be right, Good job, good job. Something nasty is after us. After me? No. Two of them. Uh, I think we might be in over our heads. Maybe. Let's see if you can deal some damage. Standing his ground quite nicely. Let's see if we can make this happen. Alright. Now he's almost dead, which isn't very good. Alright, Uzgul. It was a good job dealing with that, but now we should take a rest. You still have some food on you, so. Let's skin these guys to see if we get if we get feline pelts, which is also very good. I think it's mostly needed to make some epic armors, but we'll get there eventually. I hope. But we have to be more careful with the engagements we take. Those two cougars were not a good match for us. I believe we have enough. We are just by our base. I think this is, is deep enough, so yeah. Cool. What happened? Why did you complain? Alright guys, we do have a good amount of iron to start producing some decent weapons. Uzgul, you did an amazing job. Thank you so much for your assistance. Now. Okay, so after our farming run with Rurik, we managed to craft the basic tools, a mace for Valyria, some daggers for Serafina, and that's it. We are here with Zara. We are going to gather some resources, some fibers and we are going to take Kael with us to help us carry the stuff and Kael you don't mind chopping down some trees as well right good good so we do have some tools there let's get the sickle and the hatchet that's what we're going to need so right here in this island we have a lot of resources so Let's gather everything here.
We are going to put 5 points into expertise on Zara. And after that, might do some grit. Because we have been gathering some bugs, well not too many, just some bees, but we are going to put them in our fish traps, they're over here, we have some exotic fish already, it's not too bad. Let's gather some wood as well, we are going to need a lot more wood. Let's not break those here right by the camp. Let's go on to the other side, actually. Oh, we do have some bugs, but it's in our hotbar. No matter, we'll put them in the fish traps later. Let's put the attribute points into grit. Jump down. A lot of velo here. With the yellow, we also gather a decent amount of plant fiber, not as much as regular bush, but it's two for one special, so not a bad deal. We need the we need the fiber specially to make twine. We are going to need a lot of twine to mix the armors, so might as well get ahead on that. Some more purple lotus here, which is great. I think the purple lotus does the purple lotus potion that gives us more uh, follower damage, I believe. So it's not the best el elixir you can make. I would rather have strength weapon bonus or agility weapon bonus, but it's not bad. I mean, this early in the game, we we should be happy with what we get. With our planned exploration, I'm hoping we can find some new lotus flowers, different types, just to make this character a little bit more helpful. Okay, there's a crocodile. Oh, good job, KL. Dealt with this quite nicely. Can get some... Well, we didn't get anything useful out of that. Just some more added weight. Torch out. Maybe with Zara I'll go for an authority build. Not all the way authority, but I do want her to use some explosive potions and stuff like that. Maybe give some poisons to whoever is following her at the time. I think it would be the best way to go about it. She's not going to be a real menace in combat with her weapons, so I want her to use the alchemy for the best effect possible. So in the attributes we are putting some points into grid so let's get that up to level five and we're going to start pumping authority just so whoever is following is a little bit more effective has a little bit more hp so we can throw bombs at them <laughs> okay these are also actually sent enough for us to take the yellow lotus and we have a challenge to gather it, so... 
there's this. Some some gray lupine is not very helpful. I know the yellow lotus you can use to respec. I'm not sure if you can do anything else with it, but we are going to take a decent amount. I don't think we are going to be respecking these characters. Maybe if we make a mistake, it's nice to have that option, but we have so many characters and we should stick with their strengths. They're not very flexible in terms of skills. That's the whole point of having this many characters. Let's gather some more wood and then we'll head back. The fish traps are here, so we are going to place that there. We have some more bugs for this one. Let's take all. And place the bugs there. We do have some bees as well. And that's about it. Ramiel went out with Macreef to do some hunting. So I'm just going to put the fish here and wait for him to return. And we already have the iron reinforcements and the shaped wood to make some better boxes. So let's make those. Let's make the alchemy bench just over here. And the cauldron just in this corner here we can make alchemical base we do need the grinder Bandit curative okay so we can't really m start making the the purple lotus it should probably be the next stage of alchemy yeah we need level 30 to start making the purple lotus potion and a bunch of other really good potions so we have to hold on on that okay Ramiel are you ready to go hunting sure seem ready we are going to be playing Mekri Kaelir has made us a couple of bows and some arrows let's take two stacks of arrows should be more than enough and for Ramiel, I believe Hurik has made a one-handed hex. Ramiel, let's take away that crappy sword of yours. Sealed water skin, you're not going to need it in this trip. We're always going to be by the water. And you're a thrall. That stone axe, actually we can throw away. And I think we're all set to go. We need the tools. We are going to take the skinning knife and the cleaver. Let's get some food and we'll be ready to go. We are running a little bit low on food, Ramiel, so when you get back, do you need to work on that. Let's take the honey jerky before it goes bad. Oh, we do have some cooked oysters. All right. The day is new and we are going for a hunting trip. Get as much leather as we can. With that leather we'll be able to make some armors for our peeps. Okay, Ramiel, you have that. Good. Good job. Oh, the crocodile actually got us another kill. That is cool. Free stuff is always free stuff. Okay. Here comes another nasty reptile. I will cut your heart out. Sid will grant me cunning. Nice. I wish we could retrieve some of our arrows. Oh, 
Uh oh, this this is a this is a nasty dude. We have to be really careful with you. Like the Cobra Exile, my bite is death. Set with glory in your death. Okay, Ramiel did a bunch of damage there. Set will grant me cunning. The crocodile missing that attack was huge for us. We killed our first one skull boss. Really proud of you, Raniel. You did great. Forge. What is this? Found an old scroll. Sumerian Book of Towns. Okay, we learned some emotes. Not the most important thing in terms of survival, but always cool to find some hidden treasures around the island. Oh, some boar. I think boars should give you thick heights because they actually do have a very thick hide, but okay it's going to give us a bit of fur which is important for some armors savory flesh is nothing to shun either so let's see if we can get a good amount of feathers with the skinning knife we do have two archer characters so feathers are going to be kind of important Not sure if I should have two archer characters, <laughs> because I'm terrible, terrible with the bow. Ooh, what is this? Buffball? Buffball mushrooms. Alright, we need to s tell Zara about this. There's buffball mushrooms. I'm going to mark it on the map. Buffball. Okay, Ramiel, it seems that we have a camp here. Our intel has told us that camps in the Isle of Sipta are hostile and fair game, so... What do you say we make a small raid on this camp? Sure, we won't get any hides out of it. Maybe they have some hides in their boxes or something. Oh, one shot, one kill. Yes, please. Oh, a fellow archer. Well, a bit, a bit archer than I am. All right. I don't think Ramiel and Mercury would be too keen of skinning these humans. So I'm not going to do it. If Uzgul was leading this charge, for sure we could get a little bit more profit out of it. Oh, that's a jailer. Hmm. Alright, there's a bunch of guys coming. Nicely done, Ramiel. More useful than I am. Missing all these attacks. Cooked pork rinds is very good. Failed sorcerer scroll. There's another sorcerer there. These guys aren't nice people, Ramiel. So we shouldn't feel too bad about doing what we're doing. And that guy over there is a bit tougher than I expected, to be honest. So, okay. Damn it.
Can I hit his legs to make him slow? Right, good, good job, good job. What? Silent Legion stuff? Are they serious? The jailers drop Silent Legion stuff? Alright, alright. The jailers, okay. That seems a bit ridiculous if you ask me. These guys are very easy to kill. But our survivors here won't say no to free stuff, for sure. Grave of the Leviathan. Oh, we got a cat. Let's take the cat. Macri loves cats. Hmm. Silent. This is heavy armor. So, not really something that Macri would use. A bunch of stuff here. Not going to take any of that. We'll take both of that. see to interact we need a shovel could we possibly find a shovel somewhere around here some more coins some resources for our sorcerer I mean it is empty that is very <laughs> that was very obvious I uh, should have None better. Oh, buddy. One HP is not going to cut it. Let's put one more point there, and the challenge of defeating humans has been accomplished. See what they're hiding in here. They don't have a lot of hides, but they did drop us some really good armor. And not only that, we do get some gold and stuff like that. Set will grant me cunning. Uh, this is a good camp to come for gold coins and bars and stuff like that. And for silent legion armor for some reason. So a low level camp with some high level loot. Where are we? We are at the center of this thing. It's not very difficult to figure that out. We'll go all the way around back to base. If we find anything interesting, we will show it to you guys. It's us, guys! Well, where's Ramiel? Okay, Ramiel. It's just us, guys. How are you doing? We got some really good stuff, by the way. Now it is time for Serafina to take the front stage. Hello, Valeria. The armors are done, right? Good, good. Let's equip Serafina with her light armor. She is going to be an agility based character. It's not going to be much protection, but she prefers to be light on her feet. All right. And Valeria is going to follow us. Valeria, oh, we have some weapons here. We have these daggers and this mace. The mace we are going to give to Valeria. The stone mace we can throw away. And Valeria, since she's an armor and very proficient with heavy armors, she's going to take a very nice treat here. The Silent Legion one. Looking very, very nice there. Okay, our plan will be to head inland and see... I'm thinking this plane over here to see if we can get some thick heights. That's our priority right now. 
but we will also pay attention to see if we can find something else. Okay. That's not cool, little cat. Oh, you got me there. Probably should have given the Falcata to Valyria. These guys, they do give thick hides. All right, so we found the source of thick hides already, which is a-okay. It also gives us feline pelts, so it might not be the best source of thick hides, but... Okay, right here, let's see what we see. Oh, that's a three skull scorpion. I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. The damage output that we have is very low. Okay, that's a rhino, exactly in the planes. I was shooting for a freaking wizard. I swear, guys, I didn't know that. So with these guys, I want to be careful because their charge attack can basically kill us. They did that to Solara in our other I Love Sita playthrough. And that's the charge we don't want. Let's lead them away. Ouch. Okay. Right, one of them is dead. But we do need to pay a lot of attention to avoid these guys' attack, because I think I only got hit once. Let's drink a potion here. Yeah, you're doing great, right? That armor really does the trick. Rhino hiding thick hides. Yeah, that's amazing and exotic flesh. All good things for sure. Okay, maybe we should take a horse. Let Valyria carry the the baby horse. And Serafina can be light on her feet anyway. But in my past experience, camps near the center of the map are quite, quite dangerous. So I do want to check it out just to see who's over there. If these are Cimmerians or accursed, I don't think we should fight them. They seem to be exiles, so still have to be careful. But at least we know we can handle them. Right. How are you doing, Valyria? Kind of stuck you there. Getting hit by this. Oops, sorry. Kinda hit you there. I am going to take a potion here. You think we clear? You seem to be clear. Can we do anything with this? I think so. Okay. Some cool stuff, no doubt. What here? Uh, let's take the stools and two of these abandoned tables. We're not going to take the big fancy ones, but the large crate we are going to take. These we'll take. This we'll take. The plates. The steel hatchet. Yep. Yep, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're over there. 
I was kind of start I was starting to wonder where our faithful follower was string of the legion this is a very good bow for the stage we're at as well elephant hides layered fur exquisite meat not bad stuff overall let's see in here half expecting this to snap and trap me here but another good bow steel skinning knife let's replace the skinning knife nice that will yield us more on each on each skin and this we also want to take it's a chance we get some goodies from it scout report and there's a couple more things back here just a small box some black lotus some gray lotus i mean good things overall and we take all of that okay there's a huge camp over there that we are not going to mess with there's an ominous entrance to the tower area over there and there's a huge boss over there all right This rock nose boss, not even the Silent Legion on Valyria, will save us against that dude. So we are going to start heading back. Uh, maybe in that direction. Just check. We want to cross on that ridge over there. There appears to be some rhinos up here as well. So, so our harvest of thick leathers can continue. Uh, we have a problem, our diggers aren't in very good state, so... Okay, Serafina finally did something for the group. We have our thick heights crafting. And we are going to finalize the preparations for Cassie's exploration. Okay, now it is the time for Lord Cassius to shine. We did make some upgrades across our base while we were waiting for the thick leather to get cured. It takes a lot of time. As you can see, it's a lengthy process. But we did want to get some armors for this expedition. So. Let's equip. We also put some of the items that we looted, upgraded our campfire there. So the base is getting along quite nicely, if I'm allowed to say so myself. Now, Cassius is an Nibidian noble, so he's going to represent his colors by using the Nibidian officer armor set. It is a bit ragtag, not as fancy as the equipment that he's used to, but he is trying to make a point here. He is an outcast noble from the media. He lost his title somehow and he's trying to make up for it. So he wants to win the hearts of the people by showing them he's just one of them. But his ambition is to regain his lordship with the prize money and go back to his rightful lands. This is how we're going to be fighting. He also has an Amidian pike and an Amidian shield. He's looking like a true warrior. Uh, we do have some attribute points that we should put straight into expertise because this is very heavy armor. I didn't anticipate that it would be this heavy, but fine. It, it doesn't matter. We're going to get some levels in quite fast. Voss is coming with us. So Voss... We didn't have the leather to make you a brand new armor, so you're going to take the best armor in the game. Ugh. Which actually fits you quite well. In terms of exploration, I want to explore this area here and that vault 
just going to try and poke around the, the guys that are over there. And we want to explore this area here, the northern area. Let's drink some water and fill up our water skin and start our adventure. Let's see if we can see anything interesting from this vantage point. Well, there's a lake down there with some nasty creatures and a vault. There's one of them alone here in this area, so... Let's bring out our shield. Yeah, these guys have a lot of... A lot of HP. The boss will give them some bleed stacks, which is nice. We're using our steel pike here, our steel javelin. Our first foe is a mighty one. So that tells me that we're definitely not going to bother with this vault anytime soon. At the very least, not with this tier of weapons. Okay, this is my kill boss. You can, you can stand back. Good job. Now, uh, no loot whatsoever. Devolve drawn scale. Okay. So now we know that there's not much to be gained for the effort of fighting those guys. So we should bypass this vault and go on to that area over there. This is a huge camp. It's a crocodile sound, yeah. First we are going to that pyre. Because we don't want them to be signaling for help to anyone, so... Uh. That's a big camp there. And that's some interesting graveyard right there. Okay, I thought we would be able to just reach it, but I don't think we are. So let's go down on this side and approach it. It's a small camp right there. There's one guy on guard there. Well, that's the same. That's the same flag as the camp right next to our place. Hey, Voss is doing a good job taking care of this guy. Ooh, that's nice. Hardened steel. We are still engaged in combat, according to the game sound, so... No closer. Yeah, this guy is still mad at us. Here's a taskmaster. You'll dance for me now or swing for me later. Who approaches? Okay, okay. We have to we have to go back. That's a that's a star metal weapon. You have to be very careful with that dude. Oh, 
Voss is doing a great job here, but it is our kill. Good job, Voss. Uh, we should regroup here. Oh, this is a big boy weapon. We have our first legendary. Boatswain's Hook. Alright. And the Star Metal Great Axe. And Black Corsair's Gauntless, that's light armor. Although very good, I don't think we can carry it. It is a legendary weapon, and I think Lord Cassius wouldn't just pass the opportunity of using this weapon. It is not exactly his style, but it is a really good weapon, and he's not going to put it to waste. Alright. And I mean this is too good to say no. Let's use take wall in one carpet and use another one of these. And yeah. Got him, boys. Oof. Ardent steel great sword. <laughs> the game is being too kind to me, and I don't know what to do with it. Um, we still have one of the jailers. Keys. This is money. This is where the jailer was chilling. Are you going to attack? Uh, these are very good weapons. Oh. These are very good stuff. This one expired before we could rescue her. And so did this one. Fair enough. I want you to attack that guy. And I'm going to take care of the other two. Okay, this is a lot of good rewards for this camp, but it's also risky. Like, the boss is almost dead. Alright, um, let's give you some food, Voss. And the dagger's back. Let's see what these guys had. Hardened steel sword. Strength weapon, damage food. What about you? Hardened steel mice. Some good potions. I mean... I am actually just going to put some <laughs> one more point into encumbrance. Just so we can carry this stuff. Because it's really good stuff. Okay, the camp is cleared. I'm pretty sure there should be some boxes around. There's one right here. Just with some booze. And what is this? We caught one of the accursed during a skirmish today. We carried her back to camp and put her in one of the prisoner cages. And then the torturer went to work. She laughed the whole time. She actually seemed to enjoy it. It makes me shiver just to remember. She was choking on her own blood. 
spattering it across the man watching and just crackling as she gasped for air. Right before the torturer ended it, she whispered something in his ear. He turned an ashen grey before he put her out of her misery. We found him later that night, with a slit throat and the words I am sorry scrawled on the rock beside him. Ooh, that's some heavy stuff. Oh, there's a box over there. Immediately made me forget <laughs> the tragedy. Perfected steel spear. Uh, I mean, that's good enough for me. Ancient brazier. Let's toss the median sword. He is trying to. He is trying to represent the colors of his country, but his survival is more important. All right, and this camp. I hope it's not the same guys. It doesn't. It looks like some undead. Dudes, Oops. are they tough? Well, they don't bleed. Why aren't you attacking your dude? Now we both get our butts kicked. Ouch, okay. Alright, I'm not sure what these guys drop, but it is going to be a tough camp. I'm going to give you a hardened steel great sword. I know it's not your, really your thing, but I think for these guys we need something better than what you had. Radium gems. Mm. Also, you do need some food. Okay. I am going to drink a potion and eat some food as well. There's two of them, one's an archer. I want you to go down back here with me. Run. Run. Run, Voss. Are you alive, us? <sighs> that was way too close. I want you to stay here. You do have some food on you, so stay there. I'll come back for you. Just going to loot those two guys. Oh, I was nervous there. I didn't want to lose Voss. 
I know that I said that when they're following, I'm not going to just write off a character because of that. Like, in their thrall state, but still. Okay. This camp is, uh, I believe, too tough for us. Maybe with the big boy weapon, the legendary, and with Voss fully healed, we might have a chance. But I'm not going to stick around for, for that long. We know what's here. We scouted. We did our job and due diligence. It was very good XP, which is nice. But All right. Um, to end up our scouting, we might, we might go there. Okay. All right. So this is a camp. Uh, are you still, are you still quite better? So let's see if I can, yeah, these are the accursed. So we have to be very careful with these dudes. Alright, good. Cimmerian Feast will give us more armor. And that's the only thing we're going to take from there. The, ar the arrows are very good, but... There's a Jailer there as well. I bet that guy's an archer. handy with the two-handed sword actually okay you can use this and learn that and I'm sure Voss loves the idea of getting this sorcerer's skull so I can take it with us that guy is an archer so he shouldn't bother us too much ouch as I say that he just hits me with an impossible shot And this guy's dead. Another set of Silent Legion armor. Okay, let's approach this. There's another arc. Is he firing it all the way there? Yeah, let's get that sorcerer. Go for that one. Alright, go back to your place. This was very risky. Uh, but a potion that gives us bonus to damage to undead is not bad. Um, okay. Mm, we lost... The other sorcerer's thing, okay. The body of the other sorcerer disappeared, so... There's no real point in sticking around here. We're going to get Voss killed for sure if we stay. Uh, let's go around and back home. Good night, guys. It's us. Returning from a successful scouting mission. We got a bunch of good equipment from those camps. Those camps are quite tough though, so we should proceed with caution when going there. 
I also got this fancy brazier that we are going to put here in the middle of our tents. Awesome stuff. As we wrap up another exciting episode, our contestants have truly shown resilience and resourcefulness, creating a haven amidst the challenges. However, it is time to shift gears. Your vote now holds the fate of one of them. Check the link in the description and comments to cast your vote. The one with the most votes leaves the island. The others are left one step closer to victory. And this will be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, any comments or suggestions are very welcome in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one.